local and state issue, but the president has the bully pulpit and the president has the eyes of the nation. Uh, look, the issue here is uh, I was a mayor for eight years. Being a cop is a very, very difficult job. But the word has got to get out that when police act inappropriately, and of course in this case there has to be a thorough investigation, but for too many years, too many mostly black suspects have been treated terribly and in some cases murdered. That is unacceptable. And police officers have got to be held accountable for their actions. Second of all, in the neighborhood where this gentleman lives, as I understand it, the unemployment rate is over 50 percent, over 50 percent. What we have got to do as a nation is understand that we have got to create millions of jobs to put people back to work to make sure the kids are in schools and not in jails. So short term, we've got to make sure that police officers have cameras. We've got to make sure that we have real police reform so that suspects are treated with respect. Long term, we've got to make sure that our young people are working, they're in school, they're not hanging out on street corners. So as president, though, what do you do? I mean, how do you, how do you fix those problems? We've been hearing about those problems, as you and I well, know, for I've decades. Been, I've, along with John Conyers of Michigan, I've introduced legislation uh, which would uh, create a million jobs for young people in this country in some of the hardest pressed areas of America. Uh, real unemployment is a serious problem in this country. We've got to put our people back to work. Uh, I think the federal government has got to work with state and local governments to make sure that we move toward what well, in, in Burlington, Vermont, when I was the mayor, we called community policing, where police are perceived as part 